For these chocolate peanut butter cups, I am using two ripe bananas and the riper they are, the sweeter the dessert will be. And you wanna break them into very small little pieces so that it blends really well because you don't want chunks. You want it to be nice and creamy. I'm gonna blend it without the other ingredients because I don't want the cocoa powder to go all over. I am using two tablespoons plus two teaspoons of cocoa powder, and I'm going to level it off with the back of a knife. I want it nice and chocolatey. I'm using two tablespoons of creamy, unsweetened peanut butter. Peanut butter is really high in fat, but it is going to be divided amongst all these different trays, so it's not going to be high in fat. And you definitely want to measure your peanut butter because it's so easy to overdo it. Next ingredient is alcohol-free vanilla extract. And this is in glycerin, so it gives it sweetness. And when you are not baking, you wanna make sure that your vanilla is alcohol-free. And I'm gonna use two full teaspoons. Blend again until smooth and creamy. This is how your chocolate should look. I'm just going to pour this into these silicone molds and I'm going to use three whole peanuts. And these are dry, roasted, salted. If you're doing a no salt diet, then use unsalted peanuts. But make sure that the peanuts are not the half pieces like this because when I bite into it, I want a big crunch. So I'm gonna do three peanuts per mold and it ends up being about two grams. So I have this one already done and I have divided the peanuts so, <laughs> they're, now of course now they're moving. So I just wanna kinda of make them so that they are not all pressed together. So when I take a bite, no matter where I take it, I am getting a little bit of the peanut. All right, so now I'm going to gently, <laughs> carefully pour my chocolate filling. I can either do it with a spoon or I can also use this if I can do it. Sometimes this comes out a little bit quickly. And I'm just gonna go back in and fill it up so that it is completely covering the peanuts when I go in again. Oh, there's a clump. So you can actually just put this in there if you want. It, it's, it'll still taste good. This made just over two of these peanut butter cup molds. So each of these is nine. So we've, I made 20 of these peanut butter cups and now I'm gonna add coconut flakes. These are unsweetened, unsulfured coconut flakes. So this is a quarter of a teaspoon and I have a feeling I'm gonna use less than that. Let's see, oops, so one, yeah, it's less than that, so it's like, less than an eighth of a teaspoon. And normally, I just wanted to measure it out, but normally you just wanna do a little pinch, put it on top, 
coconut's very high in fat, but it's so delicious. So just use a teensy bit. It is high in saturated fat, so if anyone is trying to lower their cholesterol, saturated fat intake, skip the coconut. And so I'm gonna do this for each one, and then I'm gonna put it in the freezer, take a couple of hours to freeze, and then you can just pop them out of these molds, and you wanna make sure to eat them right away because they do melt fairly quickly. So I just took these out of the freezer and now if you're tempted to taste the batter before it's frozen you might say oh my gosh it's bitter did I do something wrong no 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 kind of like when you bake something where it tastes different after it's cooked it tastes completely different after it's frozen so it's chocolatey it's cold it's crunchy and it's just the right amount of sweetness you do taste a little bit of the banana. So if you want more of the peanut butter flavor, just add more peanut butter. And every single bite, I taste the peanuts and I'll put the ingredients.